Hello and welcome back. If you're new, I'm Rachel, and this is not a vlog video, but this is a vlogging channel. And these are what I had hoped to be like every other week updates of pregnancy and what I've been going through on my second twin pregnancy and my third overall pregnancy. Turns out it's like once every six weeks that I get sat down and actually film one of these. Today's a little different because it's a Q&A and I asked for questions over on Instagram. I'm gonna try not to bump the table. Just trying to get comfortable here. I asked questions on Instagram and I got a bunch of good ones that have really made me think. So, I haven't read through all of them. Some of them will be kind of on the fly. And yeah, um, if you're new, subscribe. We are doing a lot of things per usual, like, you know, we just bought a flip project, renovation project. Um, it's a villa, which is technically what most people would call a duplex, but our neighborhood calls them villas. So it's just, I don't know, it's just what they call them in our neighborhood and what we've referred, it, referred to it as. So it's not like we're hoity-toity and calling it a villa. It's just what it's called. <laughs> so we're flipping that, we are demoed, and we're getting ready to reno. And then we're building a home, and we were gonna Airbnb this place. Spoiler alert, we're kind of leaning towards selling it. So anyway, uh, let's get started with some questions. Okay. Let me start at the beginning here. Uh, how is the morning sickness? It's still there, unfortunately, and Luckily, I've been taking Zofran successfully. So since probably, I probably started Zofran around 12 weeks and it helped a lot. It didn't completely stop like the vomiting, but it helped immensely. And now, like if I don't take Zofran, I'll feel either really nauseous or actually throw up. Um, but if I take it, I'm usually fine. So it's been, I've been very fortunate that it hasn't been like a hyperemesis type issue because I was kind of worried in the beginning with how sick I was that that's what it was gonna be. So luckily, much, much better as long as I still take Zofran. When pregnant with twins, does your belly feel heavier? No, not necessarily. It's like I feel like I have less room to breathe maybe, but I don't know, each pregnancy, when you're pregnant, you just feel pregnant. I don't know that it's like worse with twins. Maybe you get that, like, I can't breathe deeply sooner when you have twins, but I felt like they were all pretty similar. Round ligament pain, much better. I have like a day here and there, and I think it just corresponds to like a growth spurt type situation where I'll have some more round ligament pain, but that's a lot better too. Where will they sleep in the cabin? They will not be, hopefully not be coming home to the cabin now. Um, we had toyed with a few ideas here before we, before the villa, like we heard that it was getting ready to come on the market. There are just no properties available in our neighborhood. So to be able to be, excuse me, in our neighborhood where we're building is just, I don't know, it's miraculous. It honestly, it, there's just nothing available. So we had a plan roughly for bringing the twins home here to the cabin, but Fortunately, we're not gonna have to do that. So in the villa, they are actually sleeping. We're turning our master closet, which is a huge master closet, into a nursery. When did you first feel the baby's kick? How does this pregnancy relate to a singleton? First kick was early, way earlier than any other pregnancy. That's my ice maker. I'm still going through. So I fill up the ice maker probably twice a day with a huge pitcher of water and I, that's basically my water intake is I eat that that amount of ice. Not ice, water created into ice cubes, so it's a lot of ice. Um, and I'm anemic, but I'm just trying to manage that. So what was the question? When did you first feel them kick? Way earlier than, so with Bear and Lindell, it was probably around 19 or 20 weeks that I was pretty sure that's what I was feeling. With Eloise, it was pretty close to the same. It was like 18 weeks maybe. This time it was legit like 13 weeks. There was no mistaking it for gas pain or anything else. Like I knew that that was the babies. So 
very early. And how does this pregnancy relate to a singleton? Um, each pregnancy for me has consecutively gotten harder. So this is harder than a singleton pregnancy, but my singleton pregnancy was harder than my first twin pregnancy. So it's kind of, it's a weird deal. Um, how does your fundal height compare to how many weeks you are? I don't know. I'm going to the doctor on Wednesday and I'll find out. But when I was 25 weeks, I was measuring 32. Yeah. I'm probably measuring pretty close to full term now. And I'm 28 weeks. Okay. Do you feel like your nose, ears, feet, or hands have grown this pregnancy? Um, feet, no. I mean, they, I swell at my ankles. Ears, no. <laughs> nose? Um, I feel like I'm congested and I feel like maybe my nose is a little bit wider than normal, but not anything dramatic. Hands, no. Okay. Do you plan to breastfeed again? Yes. Um... How are you feeling physically and mentally this time? Better. Mentally. Physically worse. <laughs> I have to separate those two. Mentally, I had, it always is like right around three months. And I mean, with Eloise's pregnancy and with this pregnancy, right around three months is when something happens hormonally where I get a lot of headaches and then I also feel mentally like off and this time is better than with Eloise for sure. It was much less dramatic because I'm taking, what am I taking now? Cymbalta. I was taking like right around that three, four month mark is when I was put on Zoloft with Eloise. Zoloft I think took the edge off but never helped me feel totally normal. It, it helped and it's definitely like the most common med for anxiety and depression that's prescribed to pregnant and nursing women because it's like most widely accepted. But um, two of my OBGYNs, my high risk OB and my regular OB both have agreed that staying on Cymbalta is the smart move since it works so well for me. Um, any thoughts on another surprise miracle pregnancy? Let it happen or prevent? Um, we are preventing. Have you had any more deja vu episodes or any bad headaches? No. Luckily, so if you weren't part of our vlog channel at that time or didn't catch that video, I had a day where I was having deja vu every like two minutes all day long. And then after that, I had a pretty bad headache like the next 12 hours after that ended. It was very weird and super scary, especially with all the feedback I was getting about like how that could mean seizures and sometimes deja vu or weird Sensation like that is the only um, symptom of having a seizure. So it was very weird, very weird, very unnerving. And we were snowed in, big time snowed in. Like we couldn't get out of our driveway that day. So it was just really scary. Um, and luckily, no, I've not had any anything like that again. Thank goodness. Are you worried having them early and in a special care unit? You haven't had that happen before. Correct, that's never happened before. Bear and Lyndall were born scheduled C-section at 37 weeks and two days and needed no special care. Um, I, don't, I don't think that that's something I necessarily have worried about. I feel like, I just feel like, if I'm being completely honest, I think I'm just gonna go all the way to my 38 week scheduled C-section. Um, but then there's certain things that make me think I might go sooner. So I'm not really sure. I just haven't really thought about it yet. The closest NICU is an hour and a half away. So that would be really a struggle for us, especially at this time in our lives with everything that we have going on. Like everything would be put on, on hold to like get the babies healthy and ready to come home. So yeah, maybe I should think a little bit more about that and plan for that. But, um, Honestly, I'm probably just gonna go to 38 weeks. I, I don't have any control over that, obviously, but um, yeah. Okay, are they checking at all on the hydronephrosis with the babies to see if they have what Eloise had? So Eloise, our middle, middle child, had hydronephrosis of her left kidney that was 
detected at her 20 week ultrasound, the anatomy scan and ended up ultimately requiring surgery at five months old to like correct there. She had a duplicate ureter. And so they had to correct that and successfully did that. And she's great now. Um, the new babies have had their anatomy scan and the new babies, these two babies, they've had their anatomy scan and they do not have hydronephrosis which is a huge relief. So I have another scan on Wednesday and I guess we'll probably confirm, but if there was a duplicate ureter system, then it probably would have shown up on the anatomy scan. Okay, that is a really good stopping point. I'm through about half of the questions. I will show you a bump update here if you're curious to see what it looks like to be me and be 28 weeks pregnant with twins. Let's see, so I turn a new week on Thursdays. Today would mean I am 28 and Friday, Saturday, three days. 28 weeks and three days. So I'm as big, I'm probably bigger than I was when I delivered Eloise. And I feel like I'm getting close to as big as I was when I delivered the twins. They were my first pregnancy. So I don't know. And they're kicking a lot. So I'm. Just wondering if by random chance we would get a kick on here, but maybe not. Okay, that wraps up today's video. I will try to get through the rest of those questions and do maybe one of these a week for the next two weeks because there's a lot more questions. If you have any other random questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And what is it, March 13th? These babies will be here in two months or sooner. That's exciting. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.